To all my loyal viewers, supporters, the ones that we are watching now say no, no, no worry. Still as soon. Love on the same way. To all my new subscribers, my potential subscribers, what are you waiting for? Click that notification bell. We're up, the kitchen will get started, and we have some nice things are going in there. And for all of the people, we love them belly. Yeah, man, we sure will start. This, this one is, one a, is special a special for all my vegan, vegan viewers. viewers. Stay, Stay tuned, tuned to see what's, what's cooking, cooking in my kitchen. My kitchen. Yama. 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 Hey guys, so today we will be working on our seitan, or some may call it wheat meat, some call it gluten meat, or you can just call it plain gluten um, because that's literally what it is. Um, a meat substitute um, and it is pretty simple it is made using only two ingredients now in the bowl I have about four cups of counter flour or plain flour um, if you don't have that and you have all-purpose flour that is fine but I do highly recommend using bread flour why because it is pretty high in protein pretty high in gluten and that is what we are looking for um, if you use cake flour or baking flour, um, we won't get as much out of it. We barely get anything, so we really want to get that. Now, with that, I'm incorporating about one and a three quarter cups of um, water. I mean, I used that much. I don't think I did. But what we want to do is to form a nice dough, not too stiff, not too loose. Um, and we're just gonna go ahead and knead that um, for as long as you can. I needed this batch for about mm, two to three minutes, I think. And I did a second batch, um, which I turned out of my counter and I needed it for about 10 minutes. If you can see, I'm going there because what I want to do is get that gluten build, build up because it, you know, that's what I really need. So the longer you need it, is the more you get out of it now what exactly is seitan seitan is actually um food or that is rich in protein um it's made from wheat flour and it is used as a meat substitute Now the reason why we are covering it twice is because I learned the hard way um, that dough does not like air. So we want to ensure that it is not exposed to any form of um, air while it is being rested and this will prevent our dough from hardening. So we want to ensure that we put it in a nice cool place and let it rest for that way the gluten as I mentioned can relax and we get our maximum um, results. From it. So it's been two hours and if you notice the dough is now of a different texture, it looks relaxed, it looks smooth and it's actually ready to start washing. One trick to know that your dough is ready, when you press into that dough, it doesn't have the spring back it slowly bounces back that is when you know it's perfect and it's ready to be washed now to wash the dough is pretty simple just get grab your bowl grab some water and just begin to knead that dough into the water you strain it off and then you go again now it will take about three to four washes before it is completed it took me about four washes before I got to that ideal um, texture that I'm looking for. In the beginning, it's going to fall apart and you're going to be like, oh no, I spoil it. Don't worry, you didn't. You're perfectly fine. Just keep going, keep at it and um, you'll be fine. It will fall apart and sort of feel a little slippery. Um, that is the starch beginning to separate from your protein. So the longer you need it, the more um, you will get rid of that starch. Now you can save that water and you can make bacon. I know, bacon from flour. 
it's weird <laughs> but we can make bacon or you can actually make pasta from that water I will try that out and I'll let you guys know how that turns out what I like the most about this substitute is the versatility of it you can do just about anything you can do with chicken and you can also uh, turn it into a steak as well. You can fry it, bake it, steam it. I curried it, it was delicious. But one thing I can um, recommend is that you do not cook it for too long because then it will become a very rubbery consistency and it will take long to chew and definitely you don't want that. Um, so you don't have to cook it for too long. Um, just keep testing it until you get that texture that you're looking for and you can do just about anything with it now at this point you notice it's like a rubber ball in your hand um, it's feeling um, kind of gummy and it is sticking together that is basically the completion of our sitan now at this point though I would recommend that you season it because once you leave it to rest it's gonna be pretty difficult to incorporate any seasoning that you have so right before you rest it during this knotting process which I am not good at you're really supposed to knot it but I tried I failed but it's it still worked <laughs> right before you knot it um, you add any seasoning that you have to it and it will be well incorporated and you can let it rest drain off any excess um, water that's there and you'll be good to go it looks just like this it's very stretchy um, it smells like flour <laughs> I, I guess that's how it's supposed to smell but once you season it it's gonna be different um, as I mentioned earlier in the video I made two batches the first batch that I needed for two to three minutes that gave me about 5.3 um, ounces of gluten the second one which I really worked for 10 minutes um, I didn't let it rest I just really wanted to show you guys the weight of it it gave me roughly about 6.8 ounces of gluten so that shows that the longer you need it the more gluten and especially if you use bread flour you can imagine just the amount of um, gluten you're gonna get from that and there you have it your seitan wheat meat gluten meat or just plain gluten whichever you feel comfortable calling it now one thing I want to point out though if let's say at this point as you're seeing it now you forgot to season it don't worry you can actually just add some broth in a small saucepan, any broth, be it chicken broth, vegetable broth, turkey neck broth, that's really good. Leave it on low heat for about 20 to 30 minutes tops and that flavor will incorporate into your uh, seitan that you can then use to make any dish that you please. So there you go guys, go ahead, give it a try, leave in the comments, let us know what you're gonna try with it what your experience was like and don't forget to hit that subscribe button like and share see you guys in the next video and i may just show you guys how i curried this but let's see bye thanks again for tuning in today's kitchen please remember to subscribe Hit the notification bell for any new content or job. Yeah, man. Alright, like, share, leave your comments below. Any questions or queries, respect.